Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-October love reading. So this reading is all about love. It could resonate, it could not. Uh, do like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Make sure you click that like button. I know we so frequently listen to a whole video of anything, about anything, like the entire video, like what the, the commentary is, and then we click off and we forget to click the like button. So if you will do that, that will be greatly appreciated. So let's get into this. Aquarius, let's come into the reading uh, with the energy of the other person. Whomever you're coming to the reading for. Okay, I, so I'm being led to talk about a new person and then we're going to go into, you know, situations that linger and off and on an old person and, you know. So, for those who are dating someone new, those Aquarius who are dating and cross watcher, just switch it around or whatever, Aquarius. For those who are dating some, someone new, Lord God, can you tell us some information, okay, about this new person? All right. A lot to know about this new person. Okay, okay. Wow, this fell out off camera for you guys. Can you see it? Two of Cups. This new person, it could be a very successful relationship. A mutually beneficial relationship. Let's see what this is about. It could be that you guys can really make something happen. It's up to you. You know, free will. Choice. Um, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be someone ready for partnership. Someone's ready to give Aquarius what Aquarius is giving. Someone ready to match your energy. So let's see. The Six of Swords. Wow. This is um, a situation where uh, you, have, you may have manifested this. This is a situation where um, or, or a new relationship, situation, friendship, whatever, that is going to bring a lot of balance. Uh, or restore the balance. It's gonna be a lot. Of, it's very peaceful, happy, and good times are here for the taking. Once again, it's all about what you do, how you do it, how you operate in this. This could be a very healthy or, or a health conscious, uh, fitness based person or relationship. This person can help you get, you know, fit and healthy all around. Not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally. This person brings a lot of balance or you to them or it's vice versa. It's like the yin and the yang. You guys may be different. You'll find that there is a lot of usefulness with this person or dealing with this person or... You find that the relationship is useful uh, more than just, you know, I like them, I like having sex with them or whatever. But this is useful. This is useful to my soul. The six talks about soul connections. You know, it's the lover's card. It's about choices. This is good. Wow, the empress. Says a new budding relationship could actually work. It is um, what somebody did some manifestation work, like to bring someone new in. Someone moved away from the turbulence that was their life, and now the with the empress here, it says that. Uh, a new relationship, a new business, or whatever, whatever you start, it has the capacity to be to be blossom to blossom, to have blossoming abundance here in this relationship. It could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Libra. 
doesn't have to be but you guys can create something beautiful the Empress is the three card threes are about doing the word creation creating Wow, Queen of Cups definitely could be done with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That this person may give good advice or you give good advice or they feel, you know, it could be beneficial. I mean, it could be mutual. This person is open, ready for love, or you are. It's or It could be mutual right here. This is... Um, someone's grounded in there. They're emotionally stable. They don't let outside energy affect them. There's a level of nervousness with this person, but still, they're, they're emotionally stable. They do a lot to maintain their stability and to create peaceful atmosphere in their life. It could be you, it could be them. Let's see. Wow, three of wands. You can really anticipate that this relationship can really grow into something very foundational and mature. Um, that you can have success in this relationship with this new person. Um, you guys are doing the work in regards to getting to know each other, moving forward, the creation process of a friendship first, and then maybe the love relationship, you know, it buds, it blossoming abundance here. Someone sees long-term plans with you or vice versa, or it's mutual. Very, very, very good energy for those of you who have met someone new. Let's see what the cards say for um, the Aquarius who has history with a particular person. I, I just had to laugh because, you know, the, the last readings, 20 readings, have, have been saying that there's someone who wants to come back from the past. For Aquarius, they they have even either come back or they want to come back. What's the general love message for the Aquarius who has history with a particular person? What do you want to tell them, Lord God? Bless them with the message of clarity, love, and light. Okay, first card out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bottom of the day, you got the two of cups here, and you got the two of air here. So definitely decisions and choices and partnership needs to be made here. Um, you may be at the two of air with this old person of two minds about this. You need to... You feel like you need to think about this. This could be with a Libra, or you have Libra in your chart, or whatever. It doesn't have to be. Um, this is indecision. Indecision due to opposition, maybe even regret, resentment, or deceit. Trying not, trying to make the best decision with very little information. Trying to guard your emotions. Once again, uh, trying to make the best decision and not get either back wrapped up into a situation that's not healthy or, or, uh, okay, Aquarius. So you may be of two minds about, you know, restoring this relationship, letting this person back in. You don't have all the information. You feel like there's some things left out. This person has been or is deceitful, a liar, um, hides truth, omits the truth by, you know, lying by omission um, 
or you're just not clear on where you stand with this person or or vice versa. So let's see what the cards say. Six of Wow, we got Six of Swords here. And you get a Six of Swords here is the first card. So it looks like the Aquarius is finding balance, has walked away from drama, um, has made achievements, uh, small achievements over burdens. What burden you, you said, you know what, I need to do something and you made that choice to move away from, to have peace, tranquility, serenity, um, positivity, uh, a better and happier life. Nine of fire, yeah. You walked. You may have walked away from someone. They're either looking in on you or vice versa. The both of you are at a place of um, separation, but still looking or still energetically feeling the uh, connection. Not knowing if you want to jump back into it, evaluating from afar. Either someone's looking in on you or vice versa or both. But it was a situation of maybe trouble and drama maybe even jealousy so some of you walked away from that uh just to better know yourself learn to gain knowledge and wisdom of why you would even allow yourself to be in situation like this the sun card nice uh the aquarius is experiencing um the culmination of some real good positive energy here within their own life their own sector away from this person um the aquarius things have been illuminated for the aquarius in regards to them you know how they deal with situations surrounding themselves it says that a relationship a new relationship or friendship is going to bring a lot of happiness and contentment wish fulfillment is here Some of you have children with the person that you you want, that you walked away from, that you look in on. Um, you're trying to gain clarity about where they are in their life. The tower. I think you do. And it, it, it helps you shift the energy here in regards to maybe this was built on false ground. Maybe something that needs to be torn down. Maybe we can rebuild. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Everybody's here. Um, except for Earth. I don't see that yet. For the Aquarius, this could be for your person also that you're, you know, estranged from. They may communicate with you all, all of a sudden out of the blue. Something that happens surrounding a relationship, partnership, project that is a challenge. And in and, and facing this challenge, you're going to have to look at this historically because you've been here with this person it's like a person comes back you break it off they come back break it off, come back. you have to look at the history of this relationship either we're gonna break down old barriers and uh, old foundations and build new or this is what it is nine of earth some of you just may choose to walk away from a situation that you're either in or you're estranged from. There you have two minds about allowing this person to come back. Or are two minds about this person coming back. You have high anxiety about this particular person coming back or you have high anxiety about taking this relationship to the next level because there's already problems that you guys have not 
100% solved, there might need there might be a need to speak with an expert, a relationship expert, a counselor, someone in order to resolve, break down the old foundation and, and build a new. Right. This could be about um, a relationship that you've been in for seven or more years, one that you're looking back on or someone's looking back on you. Someone's finding that this is, um, it was a good relationship. There's, there's once again, separation and stagnation. There's no one doing anything in regards to bringing it back together. But somebody's finding that it was useful or that it was, um, it was, it was beneficial in regards to the Aquarius. The relationship was beneficial. Uh, you guys built something here. Some of you feel like you should be further along in a relationship. The strength card in reverse. Someone is not willing to fight for their relationship. Someone's not staying to or someone's not convicted in regards to the relationship. Could be a Leo. The Sun card again. Someone has a new relationship or someone's not 100% committed to you or, or vice versa. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's someone who is not emotionally balanced. There's no balance with this person. It's either a whole a whole lot of rage, a whole lot of you know, treat either they treat you really well or they treat you really bad. The four of pentacles or this could have been with a person who you never really had title with. You never really had the title of girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. It was always up in the air. It was always uh, friends or friends with benefits. You're looking back on this relationship or they are. But this is a situation where you might need to release here. Seven of Cups. This could have been someone who had a lot of options. They had a lot of women or men around them. This could have been a cheating spouse or someone who just made you a lot of promises and they didn't keep any of them. Could have been a cancer, uh, the chariot in reverse. There's no forward movement here. The star in reverse. This is not on your path. This is not where you should be. This is not wish fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. If you have a family with this person or you had a family with them, they don't want that. They don't view. For some of you, it's a relationship of them saying, okay, we had our, our fun, our time. This could be you, Aquarius, or, or the other person. But I don't, I don't want to uh, bring this back or I cannot, you know, engage in this relationship. It, it, it either can be money problems too or someone doesn't see long term you know goals here this could be you Aquarius it could be the other person what's the best advice for Aquarius dealing with a person that they have history with a person from the past In the near future, we have a timeline. I don't know what's happening in the near future. Be assertive. If you do speak with this person, tell them what you want. It's not the right time. Yeah, it just seems like if you believe, it just seems like uh, maybe this person is already, wait, is already in a relationship. Okay, and they have perfect timing. Okay, yeah. 
this person may already be in something in, in their own life and their foundation needs to be torn down in order for them to have anything with you um let's see what how does this this new person feel well what how does the relationship look with this new person for people who are dealing with new people you know months in not years <laughs> queen of swords all right so you just want to be clear with this person you may be a divorcee uh you may still have kind of the chip on your shoulder aquarius uh this is also you having a lot of life experience while the five of swords comes out something about some drama or something comes back from the past something is here something that you have to deal with interference either it's other people or it's opposing uh, idea, thought. Let's see. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Either for you or for someone else, someone tries to interfere in the relationship. The tempers card upright. But this is kind of like a twin flame, yin and yang type of situation. Your person is very stable with their emotions they can be b very balanced the temperance card is sagittarius is directly connected to the king of cups so it could be cancer pisces scorpio it says that this could be a very wealthy uh marriage in in the, for you or in your social circle it says that um some uh, new partnership what, like I said, somebody did some manifestation work. Dreams, uh, wishes have come to fruition here, maybe with this new person. It could have been, or it is that someone is still in your energy or in this other person's energy, but it looks like because of the connection that you two have, this other person or persons they get expelled wow queen of pentacles this person makes time for you they care about how they look their body what they put in their body um they could be enjoying life's little luxuries um or this is you five of pentacles in reverse right with this person you have come out of feeling left out out of feeling like it's not working for you. Um, you don't feel the disconnect. You, f you There's a lot of confidence here in, in, in maybe this moving forward. One more card for the Aquarius with this new person. The hangman. There might be a level of stagnation here. You could be dealing with a Piscean person. <laughs> If not, this is this is that you guys are going to make permanent decisions together. Like life decisions. Like someone may choose to uproot themselves. Like to... What is this happening about? What is this hangman about? What's the hangman? Page of Wands, yeah, you guys may choose to, you may talk about going in a new direction together, doing something different. Uh, there could even be advancement in career. This person is very creative. They help you. Wow, the devil in reverse. Help you come out of fear. Fear of commitment, fear of uh, making choice. This person may be very grounded. This is really, really good for those of you who have met someone new. What's the advice for the Aquarius who's met someone new? I 
opportunity. This person may present opportunity for you. Ask others for help. They may be very helpful. Trust. And with that Queen of Swords coming up, it's going to be hard for you to trust that this is a good person. But it looks like they are. Peaceful resolution. Wow. They bring about maybe a peaceful resolution for the two of you. Or a peaceful resolution to all of that Five of Swords type of energy. A year from now, things may look very different. Take action, Aquarius. Nice. This is very, very good. I am happy for those Aquarius who are um, experiencing some really, really good energy here. So, for my Aquarius who are dealing with people who maybe already be may already be in situations where they have to untangle and unravel themselves let's see all of your cards had to do with timing so let's see over on the other side why you should be waiting for this person it's not the right time and perfect timing and let's see about here with this new person why is the Aquarius not trusting? In a year from now, what will it look like? Okay. So, let's, <clears throat> let's see what this is about now. It looks like someone who you're dealing with, who you have history with, their whole life is up in smoke. Their whole life is up in the air. Things are not as they seem. There's some things you don't know. Like I, I mentioned before, there might be someone who lies, you know, by omission, just not telling you things. Uh, why should the Aquarius wait for this person? Why should the Aquarius wait? A year from now, for my Aquarius who are dealing with new people, a year from now, what's happening a year from now, Lord God? And what is P? 
peaceful resolution. Nice. Aquarius, it just looks like Okay, Aquarius. All right, I get this now. Okay. Very, very good energy. Okay. Um, let's go over to the other side and talk about this, especially for my the people who have met new people. I mean, and definitely for the, the people who have history and situation. But definitely for the new people, I want to talk about that. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Thank you. Remember, the link to get the extended read uh, is below. It's always $2.50 to get the extended read. If you feel like this reading resonates with you, then get the extension um, just to gain more clarity about your situation. All right. Okay, so take care, Aquarius. See you on the other side.